Unlocking the mystery. Understanding, I'm questioning. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a commonly used phrase, I'm questioning. This might seem simple, but it has various nuances that are crucial for non-native speakers to understand. Let's unravel its meanings and usage together. At its core, I'm questioning means that the speaker is in a state of doubt or uncertainty about something. It's an expression used when someone is pondering or considering the truth, validity, or reliability of an idea, fact, or statement. It's important to understand that this phrase implies a process of thinking and not just a single moment of doubt. I'm questioning can be used in various contexts. Here are some examples. Personal doubt. I'm questioning whether I made the right decision. Academic or professional inquiry. In our meeting, I'm questioning the viability of this project. Philosophical or existential thought. Lately, I'm questioning the meaning of life. Each context slightly alters the nuance of the phrase, ranging from personal introspection to intellectual debate. 1. Don't confuse with interrogation. I'm questioning is not the same as saying, I'm asking questions. It's more about internal deliberation than asking someone else. 2. Be mindful of tone. Depending on your tone, I'm questioning can sometimes come off as skeptical or critical. It's important to be aware of this, especially in sensitive conversations. 3. Avoid overuse. Using, I'm questioning, too frequently can make you seem perpetually unsure or indecisive. Use it when it truly reflects your state of mind. To better understand and use, I'm questioning, try these. Practice in context. Use the phrase in different sentences to see how it fits. Listen for usage. Pay attention to how native speakers use it in conversations and media. Pair with other vocabulary. Combine it with other phrases like, I'm considering, or I'm pondering, to broaden your expressive range. I'm questioning is a versatile phrase that adds depth to your English communication. Remember, it's all about expressing doubt or deliberation. We hope this video has shed light on its usage and nuances. Happy learning! and see you in our next video.